I don't know how I would do it without this stuff, seriously. So yesterday we spent the better part of the day staging a house. It's coming on the market uh, next week and I'm really excited about it. It's an absolutely stunning house. And today we're actually stunning, uh, stunning, we're actually staging a condo. And I have to tell you, <laughs> I did my workout yesterday, which was actually a flow, so it was more like a yoga. Uh, and then staging all day in a two-story house, so a lot of up and down the stairs, a lot of schlepping things around and lifting things, and a lot of thinking. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but thinking can be tiring. And today, I'm just kind of wiped, and I'm looking forward to doing the condo, but I'm also kind of, I'm just tired. But I got my menopause mom crack, so I'm, I'm good to go. But you know, I wanted to just quickly come on here and just say, it's amazing what a coat of paint and some light colored curtains can do to brighten up a home. And one of the things that I notice whenever we stage a property, and we often stage the properties we list, because you know what? Staged properties sell faster. They look better, they smell better, they feel better, and that's just the way it is. People are the same. <laughs> it's true. People are more easier to approach more easy to approach and more um, inviting into conversations if they stage it themselves. And I don't mean painting and I don't mean lots of makeup and I don't mean any of that stuff. I just mean taking that extra step to be more presentable. Don't leave the house with princess on your ass in a pair of sweatpants. It's just not, it's not the look. But anyway, I digress. What I wanted to come on and say is that every stage of your life every aspect of your life can use some staging. And it may be your home, it may be your wellness, it may be your relationship with your family, but it's not always easy or not always effective to just go out there and do your thing. Sometimes you need to stop and take a moment and think about it. And when we stage a property, we do that. We go, we have a, we look, we get a really good assessment of what the property is looking like now and how we want it to appear, what style we're going for, if you will. And so much is based on what the owner already has um, and what the market is that we're going for. And the same thing, I think, with people. Um, staging yourself as a person, definitely don't be fake, but it's about looking at what you have going for you and making the very best of it because you know what? You deserve the best. Um, we feel when we sell a house that the people deserve to get as much money as possible for their home because that's their investment, that's their life. And the same thing with you as a person and, and people in general. You all deserve, everyone deserves to have a good life. Everyone deserves to get the most out of their lives. And taking that moment to stage yourself is really quite simple and again it's not about makeup it's not about hair but yeah don't wear those sweatpants it's really about looking at yourself and seeing your value your value as a mom or as a friend as a sister as a cousin as a leader as a realtor as a stager as a wellness professional whatever your thing is look at your value and understand that you may not see your value so much, but other people do. The people that surround you, they understand what you have going for you and they appreciate that. So when you're going out to meet people, remember that, remember your value, remember that you are worthy, you are amazing, and you deserve to have your best life. And a big part of that is what you present. And if you remember when you leave the house that you are a valuable person, and you may not know what that value is, but you are a valuable person. You will get more out of your life, you will share more with people, and you will have a better life, and that will bring you joy. And really, life is really short. Go out there, find that thing that makes you happy. Find your joy.